breathing room. And I call it breathing room because yeah, well, because um, before COVID-19 hit, the building I was in was fully occupied of tenants. Now maybe half of them are gone. The business has failed. Oh yeah, a big big bus company over here and a big engineering thing over there and somebody big over here and plop. Even the guy next door, um, I, he still has an office, but he's not here. He hasn't been here in months. Pays for it, but it doesn't that thing. But I, you know, it's like driving in the street. It basically was deserted. Yeah, you know, it was deserted. I mean, the parking lot was deserted most, well, except for the regular people, but yes, well, people just left. Going to the library was interesting. Uh, everybody wore their mask, but a lot less people, a lot less people on highways. A lot of businesses, I can't say a lot of businesses, the businesses closed and never reopened. Uh, highway traffic, it still is. I'm, it's amazing. I'm, I'm pulling out of a, um, a side street and there's no, literally there's no, there used to be a lot of traffic. It doesn't seem to be there. Well, they're getting back together again. Uh, it's very likely a lot of people retired. You know, uh, businesses could not get get the new employees. But I you know, look around at some of the, some of the big companies that were really big. I was like, they're working from home. Yeah, a lot of stuff can be done from home. Um, and you do all your work from home, and you transmit it over to the uh, the company's ser server. Hopefully, nobody can hack into it. Uh, that thing. I like my breathing room. This office used to have, once a month, we would have 40 people stuffed in this little room. Not anymore. Everything's online. On our meeting last night from, from at a university, uh, instead of having 80 people there, we had under 30. But a lot of breathing room.